So today we're going to be making a chum bucket from stuff at Lowe's. We're going to try to make one that's stew proof. Let's we'll see what happens. Uh, should be pretty cheap. All right, first piece of the treasure hunt. Want to carry that? Yeah. All right, we got our bucket. All right, mission successful. Got everything we need. Off to the back cave. This is gonna be really simple. Um, this is just to make a bucket so you can go out there chumming for cobia. Uh, anything else you wanna chum for. You wanna get shark fishing, great chum bucket for that too. But mainly I use these for cobia. So what you're gonna need. You got your bucket top. Regular old Lowe's bucket. And some, uh, I'm gonna use Loctite just cause this is what I got. Um, just look for something that's water, right, water rated and, uh, we're going to use that to seal our lid on our bucket. You don't have to do that, but I've had these lids pop off before. So to avoid travesty on the water, we're going to make this thing rock solid. All right. So you can see we got a bead run all the way around this. Make sure you got a good bead through there. Once you snap this thing on, she's not coming back off. All right. Bucket lid is on. So as you can see. Now you got a screw top lid. Way easier than popping lids on and off and worrying about a lid coming off when a bucket hits the water too hard or anything like that. Next, you're gonna drill all your holes in your bucket. The more holes you have, the more chum that's gonna come out and the quicker it's gonna come out. Um, so I recommend you know not putting too many holes in it. It also stresses it out. If you got a bunch of holes, it's more likely to crack sooner. So uh, we're just gonna work our way around this thing and there's no science to it. Just buzz your holes right in it. All right, so to drill the holes in this bucket, we're just using a regular old paddle bit uh, like you would use for wood and I'm using a 7 8 inch paddle bit um, If you want you can use one inch make bigger holes uh, the chum will come out a little faster Don't go much smaller than 7 8 or you're gonna have issues with your chum not coming out of your bucket at all Some of the bigger chunks will get stuck in there, and it's it's a big pain. So go with a uh, Go with a 7 8. That's what I found that works really well and maybe the next step up go with like a one inch But I wouldn't go any any bigger or any smaller than that All right, so there you have it. Got your holes in your bucket. The hole in the middle is very important because we're actually gonna run a rope through the middle and through one high hole on the side. That is so that we're gonna tie that in a loop and that, that way you can actually take the lid off of the bucket. Because if you run it just through the middle and the lid comes off for any reason, you lose your whole bucket. Uh, if you run it through the side right here, you can't twist the lid anymore so you want to run through the hole in the middle and through one hole at least up here high and that's how we're going to hold this bucket when we're dropping it over the side and pulling it back up and things like that so our next step find yourself something heavy in my case i'm using a part off of my tractor that was left over uh, from doing some repairs and uh you're going to tie off your main chumming line to that drop it in your bucket and we're gonna look for that high hole that we put, which is right here. And leave yourself a pretty long pigtail off of your, whatever you're using for a weight. Push this through, and then we're gonna run the rope through the other hole, and you'll see why in a second. All right, so here we are, finished product. We've tied our tag end off to our main line, and uh, this is the part you're going to tie off to your boat. And uh, you're completed here, man. You got a bucket to go out there and catch yourself some, some cobia or whatever else you want to chum for. Cool thing about this design is your whole bucket is tied together. There's no way you're going to lose the top. You're not going to lose the bucket if the handle rips off. Any of the calamities you normally deal with on a chum bucket. And uh, this thing cost me like 20 bucks, maybe $25 total for all the materials to create it. And this thing will last you three years or more, you know, if you take care of it. 
don't forget it's back there and take off and, and lose it that way. I know a lot of people have done that in the past, but uh, yeah, so there you have it. Cheap chum bucket. Get out there and catch some of these Virginia Cobia, man, while they're hot. Signing out.